Hello there guys and welcome, it is Niran here and today I'm going to be going through a little bit of an F1 2014 versus F1 2015 comparison. Now obviously with F1 2015 being on next gen in comparison to F1 2014 being on current gen there are going to be a few changes. I've chosen Bahrain because I think it's a very visually orientated track to go around with in the Ferrari uh, for both of the races. As you can see there's a little bit of a side by side comparison but we'll move to a, a sort of on top of each other comparison for the actual lap. We're just going to be seeing one lap around Bahrain. As you can see already there's a pretty clear distinction between top and bottom. Top is F1 2015 and bottom is F1 2014. Now, obviously we've got a different HUD, you all know that, you can see the DRS differences, uh, the, sorry the DRS graphic difference and also for the lap counter and the position counter and the such like. But also sort of visually on the track, you can see it, I mean, the, the hotel there to the right hand side, I think it's a hotel, looks a little bit brighter on next gen, you understand. But obviously, the, the main thing that I see from this is the floodlights. And, I mean, it's not, let's be honest, it's not a huge thing, the floodlights. But it looks a lot more like you're driving around in real life. Sort of on the bottom version, which is of course F1 2014, on current gen, it's almost as if the floodlights aren't on, but you're getting light out of nowhere, as on F1 2015. It looks a lot more realistic. Obviously, you can sort of get a little bit of a judge from the handling model as well on this. Not a great one, but I can, of course, tell you that it's a lot more difficult to keep the car in a straight line on the top one, which is, of course, F1 2015. They're going through the DRS zone yet again. I think these are going to be fairly similar times. These aren't, you know, to show off my amazing driving skills because I don't have amazing driving skills. I have woeful driving skills, but more to show off the graphics of each one comparatively. Comparatively? Comparatively, that's the one I was going for. And you can obviously see that F1 2015 is a lot better. The reflections off the track as well, those little strips of sort of reflective tarmac, I think, on the on the floor as well. You can see the mini-map, of course, different as well uh, in, in its indication for whether you're going faster through a sector as well. Um, so, yeah, I think overall, obviously, F1 2015 is going to look a lot better graphically just, just simply because it's on next gen. But I do genuinely think Codemasters have made a pretty decent step graphically on these games. They've been given the tools to do so, but uh, they've certainly utilised it. There you can see coming across the line uh, during both laps. But yeah, I hope that's given you a bit of an indication of a sort of side-by-side -side and on top of each other comparison, like full-on you can see them at the same time comparison of F1 2014 and F1 2015. You can, you can obviously see that F1 2015 looks a bit better, a lot brighter and a lot more realistic in terms of the reflections and the um, and the floodlights and the such. Like That's why I chose Bahrain. It was a pretty visual track to go with. I was, I was going to choose Singapore, but I went with Bahrain because it's a shorter lap. So I hope you did enjoy. Feel free to leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you are new around here as well and subscribe for F1 2015 content. There's going to be an absolute shed load over the next few months. I've got a career mode video coming out tomorrow as you're watching this, so stick around for that. It's an absolutely awesome race and for gameplays on both my first and second channel. I'll leave uh, links to those in the description and on the screen in the form of annotation. Comment about enjoying the video if you enjoyed it that much as well as your views on F1 2015 in, uh, in general. How much more do you enjoy it? Uh, than F1 2014? Do you think it's better? Do you think it's worse? Do you think it's a disappointment? Drop that in the comment section below and I will be sure to read them all. But it's been a pleasure ranting at you guys today. Have a good day, enjoy yourselves, and goodbye.